I was gonna say fatherly, I guess my father was 40. Oh no, I'll give you some massively older brother uncle advice. You ready? <laughs> okay, yes. Every second you spend thinking about what somebody else has is taking away from time that you could create something for yourself. Yeah. You're, you're losing. You're losing because you're laying in your bed looking at somebody's fucking glamorous photoshopped picture of them doing something cool and you're envious and you're jealous and you're impatient and it's crippling your upside. Yeah, because that's where I want to be and I know I'm not there yet. You haven't done shit. I know. So go do shit that actually gets you there so that you earn it instead of like you dwelling that you're not there and hoping something's gonna happen. I don't know what's going through your mind. Yeah, well I guess I'm hustling on the side but I don't think I'm doing enough, I guess. You definitely aren't doing enough if you have enough time to fucking consume the content of a Kardashian and some boy in London. That's true. Taylor, <laughs> listen to me. Taylor, listen. You've gotta deploy patience and you've gotta love the process. I'm addicted to the process of the battle scars, the setbacks, the lack of, you know. Taylor, I gave up my entire 20s. All of them. Imagine not doing anything fun or going anywhere for the next eight years, including Saturday and Sunday. That's what I did from 22 to 30. Every day I spent 15 hours a day in a liquor store, thought about a liquor store, built a liquor store, sold wine, like spent every day. Like this last weekend, don't lie to me, Taylor, what did you do this last weekend? What did you do fucking Friday, Saturday and Sunday? Tell me the truth, don't bullshit me. Yeah. No bullshit. Um, I'm helping my mom right now on digital media and branding for her company. Love you. And so I had a marketing meeting with Love one you. of the people doing that. Love you. And then I also. How much time um, did you have? How much? Up, did, how much time did you have for yourself on Saturday and Sunday that was not working every minute? Tell me the truth. A lot. A lot. I know. So that's the punchline, right? Now imagine this. Yeah. When I tell you this, you spent more downtime on not your career this weekend than I did in my entire 20s combined. Oh shit, okay. That puts things into perspective. I think so. Awesome. I think so too. Yeah, I need to just get to it. Taylor, you need to do me a huge favor. If you really wanna win and you wanna come to New York in eight years and shake my hand, here's what you need to do. You need to stop giving a shit about what anybody else has and realize that if you put your head down and just work for the next 10 years, no glamour, no new fucking car, suitcase, jewelry, trip, event, no Coachella, no fucking new fucking sneakers, like fucking work, you will have it. And every time you care about one of the things I just mentioned, it will slow down your process of having it. Okay, so in less than eight years, when I'm a millionaire by 25, I'll come shake your hand. I promise you that statement itself made me 100% guarantee that you won't. No. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's how this works. Being a millionaire at 25 when you're 22 and you're at dick shit and haven't even started is inconceivable unless you fucking hit the lotto. What's the romance? Mm, okay. What's the romance of I want to make you know how everybody says Gary Vee when are you going to buy the Jets in 2 years and then I reply 20 years? I'm romantic about the journey and the process, which is why I'm actually going to pull it off. You're trying to be a millionaire by 25. How, Taylor? It's just a goal I've always had. Why? And right now with what I'm doing, I guess it's not. That's right. It's an arbitrary bullshit thing that means nothing. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather guarantee millionaireship by 36 than by, by doing long-term marathon running versus doing a bunch of bullshit sprints that guarantees never having it? And I promise you, a funny thing happens yeah. to your self-esteem when you're 31 and not a millionaire because you've been chasing fast fucking cash and you're now six years removed from not hitting your goal. Your self-esteem starts fucking with your head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Listen carefully. I, I want to. I want to buy the New York Jets, but when I clarify it to everybody, I want the process of trying to buy the New York Jets more than buying the New York Jets. Understand? Yeah. Because ultimately, that's the end goal. But there's a process behind that. You have to understand. I don't give a fuck about the end goal. I care about the process, the enjoyment of doing it. You're not enjoying yourself trying to get to a million bucks over the next three years. No. <laughs> You're right. Oh, I know I'm right. 
I'm just sticking on this right now because I feel like we've gone into this deep enough that I might as well hold on for a couple more minutes to see if I could actually pull you through instead of you just being on this high of practicality for 36 hours and then going back to Instagram bullshit in 48 hours. I need to deactivate that shit. (laughs) No, you need to learn the discipline to be able to put it in the proper bucket. Yeah. I just feel like I hold myself at this pedestal only it's crippling myself because I'm not actually doing the things to get there. Of course. So you're playing a fake narrative instead of putting in the actual work that's needed to actually pull it off. Wishing instead of executing. And then, yeah. and then what's happening is you're living a fake world to yourself but you know it which then changes your behavior in the way that you interact with others. It's true. I know. Like, for all my bravado now, I was real quiet in my 20s. People made fun of me. Like, you work in your dad's liquor store? I'm in Wall Street making 100,000, I got a BMW. I'm like, that's nice, Pat. Yeah. Do you understand the level of disrespect I have for Pat? Do you, love, do you understand the level of disrespect I have for all those 20, 30, 40, 50 year olds flashing shit on fucking Instagram with short term moves? I can't wait for the fucking world to melt. I can't wait for all these bullshit people to get fucking hosed out when the economy gets shit. Yeah, it's because they're short term affording these things that are flashy, but in the long term it's not sustainable for what they're doing right now. Yeah, but meanwhile you're admiring the fuck out of them. I know, it's a problem. No shit, Taylor. It's really bad. Taylor, you need to start fucking loving the process and the work and the grind. You need to start respecting people that are like sleeping with with four roommates and buying their t-shirts at Walmart. Yeah, you know what, I feel like I need that wake up, but I feel like I need to hit rock bottom to have that wake up. I'm too comfortable right now, and it's, I it's don't, annoying the I, shit out of me. I don't, I don't think so. I think you are saying you need to hit rock bottom because it buys you more time to bullshit like you are right now. Mm, I never thought of that. You know what I mean? Like you know it's not working. You're just saying, by the way, let me go complete left field on you. You're a 22 year old girl, woman. Like, it's okay to enjoy a little bit now too. You've heard me say regrets. If you, I don't know how deep you know my content, but once in a blue moon when people ask me the advice for 25 year old Gary, the answer is go have fun, asshole. It would've been okay to go to Vegas or Acapulco or like, like do some dumb shit. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, so, so. Yeah, so, I think I've had my fun in college though and now I feel like it's time to work. Well, you're, you know, no, that's the bullshit PR version, Taylor. The reality, Taylor, is still fucking in that zone. Hmm. Yeah. Don't beat yourself up. Don't hold yourself accountable to arbitrary bullshit fantasies. Just put in work and enjoy that. Enjoy eating shit and dirt and bleeding and the grind and don't give a fuck about what anybody else thinks. Why you haven't done it, why are you doing that? Have four jobs. Fucking Wendy's, Walmart, your side hustle. Work, train, learn. Don't think you're a digital expert just because you're 22 and you have an Instagram account. Show me how much fucking shit you've sold with your digital social media skills. Okay. Do you understand? No, I do, yeah. You're just, you're just, you're just completely in the wrong game and I'm holding you on to this because you and 99% of the people that are watching are playing the same game. I know, which is why I wanted to ask the question. But you're look, I can't, but you're, I'm obviously not the only one. No, you're the majority and, and the massive majority. The question is, you just, need to be stu- you just need to understand the following. You can trick losers. You're not tricking me. Good, because I want honest answers. You don't need my honest answer. You know you're not tricking yourself either. None of us are tricking ourselves. I just want to remind yeah. you that you might be able to trick your Uncle Hal and you might be able to trick your girlfriend that was in your fucking college with you but you're not tricking a winner when you're bullshitting. Got it? Got it. So even if you're posturing and pandering and PRing yourself, no winner thinks you're winning. Yeah, because I'm not. I know. Work. That's the answer to all these questions. Got learn, it. learn things, do stuff, try to sell shit, learn how to make money, work. All right, I will. Was this good? Awesome, thank you so much. Can you do me a huge favor? Yeah. Can you email me in 30 days and don't bullshit me? What's your Twitter handle? Or Instagram, what's your Instagram handle? I don't. That's fine. Instagram, mm-hmm. it's at the fabulous journey. 
at the fabulous journey. Yeah. Me and my whole team and the entire Vayner Nation is watching. Oh shit, okay. I'm gonna, suff- I'm gonna smoke you out of your bullshit. <laughs> okay. Everybody's watching. Okay, I got it. Do you understand? Yeah. I like your blue dress. <laughs> Thank you, I got it on sale. I like that answer. That's the best thing you said all fucking. <laughs> that's the best thing you said this whole time. Listen, slow and steady wins the race. You're only competing with yourself. Okay. Got it? Got it. Nobody else defines you. Not me, not everybody watching, not your mom, not the fucking Kardashians, you. Got it. You can grind and be patient for 10 years every day and still be nine years younger than me and I would trade places with you. That's how amazing having time on your side is. Yeah, time's everything. So use it. I will. Good, see ya. Thank you. You're welcome. You keep asking questions, I'll keep answering them.